Hey everybody, this is Coach D here with TackleTrading.com, and I'm going to walk you through a little trade plan I set up on one of our scouting report picks here on Etsy from this week's uh, stock report, I believe. Might have been the options report. And I wanted to put together a little scaling in order. I'm mean, Actually, my general plan here is to scale into a long stock trade with the first trigger's to OCO order and I already have that order set up and I'm going to show you here how it kind of came to the conclusion of what I'm planning on the trade. So what I like about this setup is it's got this nice little pullback into the rising 20 period moving average, old support resistance neighborhood, nice uptrend. Looks like it's forming support and it's very similar to kind of what you saw back here with a couple days pullback, confirmation up and you get a nice run after the fact. So that's kind of what I'm after is you get the pullback down the green signal candle up, you might catch a nice little run. So here's the pull back down, looking to catch that run. Okay, we get that concept. I did the math, I averaged out these last couple of cycles and figured out that this stock averages about 24 and a half points, call it 25 points. That's the average swing based off of the last three big swings. And it would average about 10, 15 days. Uh, you know, a couple of those were short, a couple of them were longer but it would be you know, somewhere between two to three weeks on the expectancy for the trade. So the plan here is to, is to scale in, and I'm going to commit some money if the stock breaks up. So if it starts to go up and it trades above to the last candle high, it's going to trigger and add 25 shares, and that's going to kick in the first part of the OCO, which is going to be a sell profit target out here, a sell limit. So we'll have the first order is going to buy. Let me put that in there. Okay, and that's going to put in two different orders, one to sell out here, okay, and then a stop loss, so a sell out at 88 and a stop loss down here at the low of 73. Okay, so it's got a buy order at 78.50, sell at 88, a sell limit, and a sell stop market at 73, so that'll be our sell. And that's going to be the first order is the buy order. And then these two are what are called OCO, OCO. Okay, so now that's the first part of this ticket. But this is going to get a little bit more complicated. And I'm going to use it again. I'm going to use this first trigger's two OCOs to actually set up another position to trigger in another buy order and a sell order. So this is, some people may use this ticket a different way, but what I'm doing here is relatively simple. So then if the price continues to rise above 80, I got a buy stop above 80. So it's going to buy more, 25 more shares above 80. And then it's going to put in a sell stop down at the same price as 73. And those two will also be an OCO. So whichever one gets hit first, the other one will get canceled out. Now, that may create some problems in how I set up this order ticket. I'm going to have to watch it and monitor it, make sure that the, the actual outcome is going according to my game plan. And I can always cancel, replace orders, readjust it. But the idea is relatively simple. It's going to then have in that second order, if it continues to go up, it's going to buy more and put in a second sell stop at the same time. Let's say, hey, if it comes down below 73, sell the other 25 shares. So that's what all these tickets here say. Say, hey, here's one buy order. Here's the other buy order. There's the target. And then these are the two stop losses. So now let me go cancel and replace this order ticket. And I'll show you how I set it up. I'm just going to go according to the game plan. Okay. So I can do it right here from the chart. I can actually right click on the chart and go buy custom with an OCO bracket. Then once I get to this first ticket, this is a first triggers OCO bracket. You'll actually notice it down here. It says first triggers OCO. And then it's got the three orders, the buy order and then the two sell orders. Um, you know, we're going to change this order up one more time. I'm going to come down here and click on this and go to first triggers two OCOs. That's going to allow me to set up two more orders. So let me get the right orders in there. We're going to set these all the same. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to put in the right number of shares. I'm going to say we're going to do 25 shares on this, and I'm going to link them all together. Okay. Then I'm going to go and say, okay, we're going to buy, according to the game plan, buy stop limit. If it goes above 78.50. So if it goes above 78.50. Now, let's put in a limit on that. Don't spend more than 78, say 60. 75, uh, 78.50 by 78.60, buy stop limit. Then we'll set up the sell order out there, the target of 88. That's going to be our target one. 
And then on the second target, I think it can actually get out to 98. And then I'm going to put in a stop market. If it goes out or below 73, I'm out. Okay, make these all good till canceled. Now I can. it says I can do exactly five orders. So I've got three. I need to add two more orders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the buy order. I'm going to go create duplicate order. And I'm going to raise this one to 80. Say, hey, buy if it goes above 80. Don't spend more than 80, 10. Whoops, 80, 10. Okay, that's 25 shares as well. Then I'm going to duplicate this stop loss order where it says sell market. So right here, stop market. I'm going to create duplicate order. And I'm going to leave that one at 73 as well. So it'll have the two different stop orders down at 73. And maybe I'll set this one down a penny at 72.99 just to give it a differentiation. Okay, there we go. There we have it. That's how I set up the ticket. Again, first triggers, I've set up the ticket. First triggers OCO. And uh, we've got the general game trade, you know, the plan all laid out. I'm going to go ahead and get, confirm and send. It's important that you read this dialogue window again. First order, hey, buy 25. Second order is going to be triggered by first order, OCO. And it's going to set up the order to sell out at 88 and stop loss down at 73. The fourth order that's going to kick in is another order to buy up above 80. You don't spend more than 80, 25, and there's going to be a sell stop in there. That sell stop is going to come in automatically at 72.99. It doesn't have to wait for the buy order. So if it were to reverse on me, it's possible I could wind up short. You have to understand that part. But this is committing about $2,000, uh, $2,030.50 capital to the trade. And again, I'm doing this in a simulated account just to show you all this, how this works. And then we'll go ahead and hit send, and there's our little trade plan. So that's scaling into uh, swing trade using a first triggers to OCO bracket order on thinkorswim pretty awesome little broker and a pretty decent little game plan we'll see how that plans out market's not open yet so we'll see how that pans out and we'll see if those orders get filled